What is butt chugging? Stop! Change the conversation. Right. Get Guinness. 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 Have Guinness. Have Guinness. <laughs> we watched some of the different like chefs' night out. We realized that maybe it would be smart to have like a safe word you can say it when someone's getting like a little bit too wild. Oh Yo, I watched a dude saw his finger in half. Get us, get us, get us, get us. Why would you say that? Get us. Guinness, not subtle at all. <laughs> Didn't really work. Guinness, free flowing Guinness. Guinness, Guinness, Guinness. 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 I hope everybody chokes on Guinness right now. <laughs> oh my. I'm Alini Yamamoto. And I'm Yael Pete. And we're the chefs at Karasu in Brooklyn. Karasu is a Japanese American izakaya restaurant and cocktail bar. This building is landmarked, so we can't make another entrance. So you do have to walk all the way through Walters to get back here. Izakaya is like drinking food. Mm -hmm. Like it's a pub essentially. So you always have food with alcohol. You know, I think a lot of people think about sushi when they think about Japanese food, but I wanted to make like warm food, seasonal salads. This is called um, our shirasu salad. So shirasu is these little fish. They're like white bait. We put it in the salad because it's really like a mild fishy flavor. Cherries are great. We'll do whatever kind of like fruit is super tasty right now. And then we also have avocado. This is like definitely not a traditional Japanese dish, but it's like our take on like the small bites that you would get in a izakaya. Because the Karasu kitchen is so small and we, we have to work on induction burners, like our grill, our fried dishes all come from next door at Walter's. This is a prime ribeye. We basically inoculate koji, which is a spore that kind of clings to rice. And we serve the steak and the tonkatsu sliced because we want people eating with chopsticks, so everything should be bite-sized. I didn't meet Alina until we started this. I've been running Karasu for about three months. And then she moved back from Tokyo, and a friend of ours introduced us. I was looking for a job. I was just kind of like putting out feelers. I just came in and worked a shift. And it felt very clear from that moment on that, like, oh, we can work well together. Alina also brings a lot more Japanese elements to the table. And I'm just kind of happy to have someone to learn from. Oh no, I can't reach. <laughs> Reaching things? Yeah. I guess we've kind of like turned into sisters of sorts. And we don't have sisters, so it's fine. Yeah, I, I grew up with boys. And then a server usually brings it right up to the pass. As you can see, we have no bell. It is a trust system. <laughs> we drive each other insane, obviously, but we also get along. I'm impressed, like, with the health of our professional relationship at this yeah. point. We stuck it out. <laughs> Last night was great. It was so much fun. Alaska and Callie met us here at Karasu right as the night was, like, starting to take off. Callie is our director of operations, oh, technically, yes. <laughs> because she is in charge of both uh, Walter Foods and Walter's and Karasu. Alaska is one of our main bartenders. From the moment she came in here, we were really excited to have someone like that on the team. <laughs> Got into the car and we headed over to Decibel. There was a female panda who apparently faked, like feigned pregnancy. So she oh, could get more, more bamboo. bamboo. <laughs> Taiwan giant panda fakes pregnancy symptoms to be given extra food and nicer accommodation. Nicer accommodation. Bruce was discovered during ultrasound tests. A giant panda has been accused of faking pregnancy in a bid to receive preferential teeth treatment from her keepers. They should have said, zookeepers don't know how to tell if pandas are pregnant, <laughs> comma, feed them too much. You know what I mean? Oh my god. Oh you know how my god. My veto like first stop. Decibel is a sake bar in the East Village that has been around for what, like 20 plus years, something like that. Decibel's. Yeah. Almost I, as old as me. I mean, it's an institution. You walk down the stairs and go in, and there's like this like velvet rope that stops you. They don't even like take off the rope. You have to just duck under it to get in. 
I'm like so happy to know that this exists. Yeah. This is like a New York I like love that I forgot existed, you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know how you can get away with writing on the ceiling, but I guess people stand on the table. I feel like that's a late night move. Well, sake was the focus. Yeah, sake was the focus. And the girls were really excited to see, you know, oh, look at all these sakes that we've never tried that aren't on our menu. They're constantly changing their selection. So you can go there and, you know, they definitely have standards that you can always get, but there's a lot of fun, like, seasonal sakes. We tried, like, a bunch of different, what are we saying? <laughs> Bye. Bye. I was like, well, you're back in your box. Oh, that's good. Nice. This one's delicious. We thought it'd be fun to roll some dice. I feel like that's a fun, like, bar activity. And while Callie was searching for her dice, she found the little men. <laughs> And it was like a serendipitous they accident. Just, they live in her purse. Yeah. <laughs> and sometimes you just need like a little dude hanging on your drink. <laughs> He's got such good posture too. Look at him holding those buns in. You know what I mean? I know, yeah. man. He's really engaging his Excellent core. Excellent form. Excellent form. Excellent form. Yeah. I guess they're supposed to be like wine labelers. Isn't he great? He works out, you know, but I didn't realize last night. His face is terrifying. <laughs> Yeah, no, the eyes are Just really like cute. real men. When you do it, and then the next day you're like, what? Oh. Stop, stop. No, but Guinness. 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 Thank you. Thank you. That smells delicious. We got the decibel tofu. Super tasty. It's like a warm tofu with broth and tempura fried bits. That was tasty. It's gune, which is chicken meatballs. Moroku, which is uh, oh, so Japanese cucumber with miso. Every izakaya has something like this, and I eat this for breakfast in Japan, and it's so good. Yeah. I like how this has this like salty sweet thing right now. <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> yeah. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you. It was so good. Thank you so much. Right, thanks. We walked out of Decibel. It was raining a little bit. And Alaska um, shielded her blowout, her beautiful hair with that perfect scarf. It's great. Wait, okay, I got this. There's a button. Done. Hopped into the van and then we went across town to Via Carota. I am so ready this. for pasta. Me too. Yeah. So where yeah, are we going? To go here. Where are we going now? Via, Via Carota. Via Carota. The last so time I was there, um, I saw a famous actress who complimented my shirt. <laughs> what was cool about your shirt? <laughs> She thought the texture was cool, and then I got to tell her that it's because I did not iron it. <laughs> Always I won't of the say. Is there a Did pun that you could give us? Yeah. Charlie's Angels? Starts with a C and ends with an Amron Diaz. Yeah. <laughs> Is it Shamron Miaz? <laughs> so Cameron Diaz liked my wrinkly shirt. Oh, I was it's right! Out of, yes. out of the bag. The cam yeah. is out of the bag. Yeah. The cam's out of the bag. Via Carota is Italian and it's run by two really talented women, and they have killer pasta. What is Via Carota? It's just a little casual Italian restaurant. Most of the pasta is made here in-house. You know, traditional things, very Tuscan-centered. Oh man, there's so many things. I think I want something sparkly. Fruit rosé to start. Callie got something different. I don't know, she got a... She's really great, proficient with red wine. It was just like a really beautiful red wine, but it wasn't like super heavy or anything. It's a pasta. It's a pasta. Wow. Oh my God. Oh my God, yes. amazing. We got the grilled artichokes. Mm -hmm. The mushrooms were so delicious. Holy moly, there was some sort of cheese on there. Yeah. I don't know what kind, but I just ate so much of it. It was delicious. <laughs> Prosciutto and melon, because yeah. I could not stop talking about how much I love melon. And that was to start. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Ooh. And we sat next to some really Dudes were happy to be there, which is nice. I'm glad you didn't get it. Was, it was a birthday. Happy birthday, Tiramisu! <laughs> then we got every pasta. All the pasta. Four ragu. Four ragu. Cacio pepe. Yes. Still got strachi. Yeah. We got the tortelli. It was like with like butter and caramelized onions. Yeah. It was really rich and really simple. It was so, so good. good. 
Yo, this is like the French dip of tortelli. It's got the gruyere and the, and the onions. Holy moly. I love how different they all were. It's like one bite of this and then one bite of that. Like, and just like the, the texture of the pasta was perfect. All I want to do is eat pasta every day. I know. For the rest of my life. You guys want some pasta? You guys have pasta to try this. Please, please. Just I'll, eat it. Just I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna make it. Huh? No. You have no, to try the cacio pepe. Should probably try it. Peter, I think, sees a lot of people eating and he doesn't get to eat. We had had a conversation with him earlier in the night. I was like, oh, you know, are you excited? He's like, well, I get to watch people eat. I'm like, well, that's sad. That so is sad. He was stuck in the car for the first stop, so it's like, gotta give yeah. him at least something. Thanks, Peter. <laughs> Guys, swear to God. This one? Thank you. Thank you. What house are you? Uh, I think that when she's I had, a Gryffindor. I think when I she's put the hat on, it was like Slytherin, and I was like, ah, oh, come on. And it was she's like, a, fine, Gryffindor. She's a Gryffindor. You know I am her, absolutely 100% Slytherin. I'm a Slytherin. 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 I'm a Slytherin. I Slytherin. think I'm like, I am Slytherin, but I'm really resistant. Hufflepuff. Peter's a puff. Peter's a puff. Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. Peter. Made it across the bridge, got back to Brooklyn, and we went to Maloko. Welcome home. Whoa, cool. Maloko is in bed -Stuy. It's a uh, just like a great bar. Like, I would call it our a local bar. Yeah, um, they're, they're family. Callie's boyfriend is one of the owners. We go there a lot. Their kitchen is open super late, so that's one of the places that we can go and eat afterwards. So four waters, four spritzers, and one, one wow. mac and cheese. I'm gonna do a froze. We drink a lot of white wine spritzers. I, I mean, there's no way around it. I'm not ashamed. I mean, like, I love, like, a scotch and soda, you know, but too many of those, and I'll be on the floor. Alaska got the froze. Which looked awesome. And Callie got a spicy mezcal margarita. It's a good night. It's a good night. Yeah, it's a good night. Thank you. We've got a chat. <laughs> You're Chad, Chad, you're Chad. Chad. You got a Cody. Chad. I got a Cody. The boys came back out for some reason. The little boys. Oh, yeah. We were hanging them on the mac and cheese. Oh, oh. that pasta. Oh, my. Yeah, but they put it. Their mac and cheese is so good. But what, it's so good because it's so good every single time. They put fried Brussels sprouts on top, so that's like the crispy. Mac, mac and, and cheers. 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 Oh. Cheers. Oh. 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 Oh, wow. Is this not the best mac and cheese you've ever had? This is really good. I like the crunchy bits. What is it's that? Brussels? Brussels. And it's just the perfect consistency. Uh huh. Yes, it's a bitch. It's all my girls and my bitches. Except Peter. Peter! Yo. Y'all huff and puff you. Close out at Maloko and hopped in the car. And Maloko is really close to Karasu. It only takes like. I don't know, five minutes or something. This is my old neighborhood, guys. Yeah, Alina used to be homeless under this bridge. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real up and no, story. No, I live in the apartment all. over there. Yeah, it was, it was you all right there. within earshot of the BQE, and you could feel it like an earthquake, OK? <laughs> Got back to the restaurant, and it was just fun to like see everybody. The like, turnout was wonderful. They were in the process of um, closing down the front kitchen. We were still getting tickets. Walters we're still was still tickets. open. So I felt bad kicking the boys out and also just started trying to I let Alina kind of take over on family meal and I tried to do some Walters food. So we made Krage sandwiches. All right, so we're putting some potato starch on our Krage. Karage is Japanese fried chicken. We use chicken thighs and they're marinated with soy, sake, ginger, garlic, dredged in potato starch, and just fried in the fire. We're doing Martin's potato rolls because, of course, it's the, the best roll for anything. This is Japanese tartar sauce. These are gonna be kind of intense bites. That's that perfect. one, what do you, you mean? got two butts together on this one. <laughs> Sandwiches! I got both kinds of Doritos to appease the masses. We love 
Doritos. They have the perfect balance of like making something craveable. And we thought we couldn't have um, sandwiches without chips. Everyone should only be eating Doritos. Don't you love Doritos? The night was like super fun. Totally. I, I like I couldn't be happier. A good fucking night. Good night. Yeah.